Leading local tonight in our top story, Governor Doug Burgum is on the campaign trail working to secure support for his presidential bid. From asking for donations to discussing important issues, Governor Doug Burgum continues sharing his views across the national stage. Tonight in her four-part one-on-one interview with the governor, KX News' Adrian Oglesby focuses on the issue of funding. We are less than one week away from the Republican debate, which Doug Burgum made after following several campaign strategies. One plan helping him was his cash cards approach, where he offered $20 cash cards to donors in order to make his way to the debate stage. He says he's just playing the game, but will he win with this political blueprint? I kind of chuckle when I hear that because, uh, first of all, you know, this clubhouse rule that the RNC made was totally designed uh, to favor people who had previously held national office, someone who, you know, been pundits on national cable channels, people that have been in politics their whole life and have got 100% name recognition that was designed to keep outsiders like a small town kid from North Dakota out of that kind of race. But we never complained about it. We never questioned it. He says he was the seventh person to reach the debate stage and did so in half of the cost of hiring some of the national firms that do online fundraising. I think, again, it just shows the kind of uh, difference between people that think about the way the government runs and people in the private sector, entrepreneurs. It's the same way we can take, uh, you know, costs out of the federal government. I think there's a lot of things we could do for one fifth the price of what the federal government already does. Burgum says many people have been generous with their supporting donations. A lot of people went to our site and said, hey, I love what I will love what I saw. You know, here's more than one dollar. Here's a larger donation. We'll buy a T-shirt. We'll buy a hat. We'll do we'll do something. We want to hear your voice on the debate stage. And a lot of those folks then come back and give more later. He went on to compare his strategy to an online retail startup. You've got a promotion to get people to come once. And if they like what they see, they come on back. And that's how big businesses get built is uh, starting like that. So we're just we're, we're, run, we're running a scrappy entrepreneurial campaign. And I think that competition is great for the country and great for the Republican Party. But many people want to know who is supporting and fundraising his campaign. Bill Gates seems to be the biggest in question, so I ask. Now, we asked our viewers what they would ask you if they could interview you, and the biggest question seems to be, is Bill Gates supporting your campaign, and has he helped with any of the fundraising? Uh, the answer is uh, no, he has not uh, helped with any of that, but it's a... Uh, Interesting that that's a, a you know that that's even a question. Uh, we've got over fifty thousand donors that have supported our campaign. Uh, we've got a broad base of support. Burgum says that it will be his roots to his hometown of Arthur, North Dakota, as a business leader, someone who knows tech and who understands agriculture and energy. To him, this is what will set him apart on the debate stage. For KX News, I'm Adrian Oglesby. The first Republican presidential primary debate will be held Wednesday, August twenty third. Part two of Adrian's interview with Governor Burgum will be on tomorrow, KX News at 6. The governor will discuss campaign plans for Iowa and New Hampshire and if he would accept a cabinet position if offered.